hi everyone welcome back in this react js video tutorial we are going to learn about why we need the bind and use the bind in the react js so basically uh, for an example when you click uh, when you hit the click event in the react js then you have to use this dot function name dot bind with this so why we need this so we will understand it properly so that for uh, for that we have to uh, understand it the step by steps and in we will understand in the three steps and after that you will very confident that why we use the bind in react okay so it will take around five to six minutes so first of all uh, we will understand the bind in the javascript then we will understand the bind inside the uh, javascript classes and after that uh, you can easily understand that why we use the bind in the react js also okay so it's totally depend on the this scope don't forget that and let's understand it now so i'm going to take a variable with the name of info and it's an object with the name info first of all i'm just taking the name with the anil and at the second parameter uh, at the second um, object i'm just going to take the function with the tell name and it will return the name okay so return here and return will be uh, this dot name so now just call it inside the console dot one and you will see that when I just call info dot tell name it will return my name and this is predictable also okay so what if I just uh, use a variable with the another info and I just assign the info dot tell name here what is the output now let's try the output will be undefined why because when we assign this the other information do not have this only information have this info object have this so how we can provide pass the this inside the other info for that we have to use dot bind okay and bind return and inside the bind for uh, what this we have to pass so we have to pass the information info this then we will pass the info this year and this is the function so we have to read one more con curly brackets here so now let's try anil sedu so if you want to make it a little bit easier you can simply do this also okay so we understand uh, what is the this and what is the bind and how we can get the this inside with the help of the bind okay so now understand it with the classes for the more clarification so just i'm going to take a class with the name of bind info and here i'm just going to make a constructor and inside the constructor i'm going to take a this dot name equal to anil siddhu fine and now uh, i'm going to make a variable with the name of let's say hello because hello hello is a very simple word okay so it will return my name so this dot name fine so what i can do with that okay so just make a uh b let's say info this is the object of the new bind info and if i simply console here uh, let's make it correct info dot hello the output will be the anil siddhu okay so but i'm just going to play the same trick with this also so just i'm going to uh, put the other info and here i'm going to pass the info dot uh, 
hello and let's try to print the, this one also and it will return the same thing that we uh, do with the object okay it will telling that the name is not uh, is an undefined property okay so it will not telling that undefined because this is the class simply okay so resolve this what I am going to do I am just going to pass dot bind and what I have to put a pass inside the bind info because we need a uh, this for info we got the nlc2 but how we can got inside the uh, inside the class because in the uh, react js we cannot uh, use the bind inside the class and all because we don't know what is the last object is printing because the classes are inheriting to one to other okay so we have to put it inside the class so that we are just simply use this dot hello equal to this dot hello dot bind and here this will work this keyword is work as a class fine so now if I just use with this and I just call simply this one then let's see the output will be the same because we put the inside here uh, uh, with the bind and it uh, with the hello already have the scope of this and in the same concept if I just come inside the uh, react it will also doing the same it will put the this scope inside the class also and uh, because a uh, bind is required when we lost the this scope and inside this app we have to go uh, the data will go inside the index.js and here it will uh, click it'll, uh, click event is coming here then and this will part passes to the class so in this process this scope uh, will be lost and we use the bind to provide the this scope okay so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box i will be available here and i will definitely reply to you thanks guys thanks for watching this video